Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EzraAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Ezra Automation. And today we'll be talking about setting up throwaway dynamic Selenium grid setup completely via code using test container in c If you remember in our last video, we discussed how we could able to set up a throwaway Selenium grid node like Firefox node to be connected with an existing Selenium hub and the network which is already available within our local Docker running in our machine and connect the dynamically spinned up Firefox node via code using test containers. But in this video, we are going to go a level further to create our own setups of the network, Selenium Hub, as well as the nodes completely in code using test containers. So basically, in our last video, we discussed how we could be able to connect the Selenium code, which includes the Firefox node to be created from the test container with an existing Selenium Hub which was running in our Docker, in our local machine. But we actually used the existing Docker network as well as the existing Selenium hub to work with our dynamically created Firefox node. But in this video, we are gonna see how we could spin up everything with the test container from the code rather relying on the existing Selenium hub as well as the existing network. So every single component in this video, we are gonna be creating from our code itself. So basically the agenda of this video is this. We are going to create the following throwaway container as well as the setup something like this. Like we're gonna create a Selenium hub container. We're gonna create the network which can communicate with the Selenium hub along with the Firefox video support for the existingly running Firefox for the Firefox container that we already created in our earlier video. So let's discuss everything in this video and understand how things work. So if you remember in our last video, we discussed how we could able to spin up the Firefox test container using the Firefox test container builder, something like this we created. We actually passed the hard-coded network over here, as you can see, because we got the network ID and the name. But if you remember, if you just take down the network by using the docker compose down hyphen v it's going to remove almost everything the volume as well as the networks and everything that you have but if you remember you can also take down the network if you wanted to if you clean up your whole docker environment like prune you will probably end up removing the network so this id is going to keep changing even though the name can remain but the id of the network is going to change so this code becomes soon invalid so how to get around this particular problem basically we can create our own separate network in the test container, which is also completely possible. And the way that you can do it is by creating your own network via code. That is also super easy in the test containers world. So basically you can do something like this. Let's call this as the grid network, the Selenium grid network. And then I'm gonna say new test container network builder. So this is another builder that we have got where you can actually give the name of the network so i'm going to call this as selenium grid network or something like that so let's call this a selenium grid network and then i'm going to call the build method so once we create this you will notice that this grid network is already available for us and the way you can invoke or create this network is using this method await grid network dot create async that's it so this is going to create the grid network for you but where do we actually use this grid network well that's when we are going to remove this existingly available network so we are going to let's say comment this one and i will show you how beautiful it is while we write the created network so if we just call this with network i can pass the i docker network so this network that you are seeing over here is of type i docker network so i can just pass the grid network over here something like this so that's the way that you can remove this hard-coded value which is going to keep changing this is going to be super easy because you have your separate network for the test containers so that you can use it so now that we have our network problems being resolved the next thing is we need to also create the selenium hub that we already have which is running in our docker over here so if you remember this is the docker compose file that we were discussing before we're going to get rid of this guy and we're going to create our own code which is going to be over here and the way we're going to do it is by creating one more selenium hub test container 
with all the port bindings and stuff but as you can see over here we have a lot of ports here right like 442 443 444 so i have to almost pass all these ports and also i need to create a container name and then i need to use this image and the network as well so the network should be the selenium grid network that we have got so i am going to create selenium hub test container test container builder and over here i'm going to pass the test containers container and here is the place where i'm going to give the width image with the image for the selenium hub and then we also need to give the name of the selenium hub so this is the one which i'm talking about and once we have this we can then pass all the port bindings that we really require as we saw in the docker compose file which is going to be these and then we also need to pass the network which is going to be the network that we just created the grid network and once you have all these network we can then do the build operation which is this one that's it so this is how we can create the selenium hub test container and once we have this container we can then call the selenium test hub container over here which is going to be a weight of the selenium test uh, selenium hub test container and then start async something like this that's going to start the selenium hub container as well and finally we are also going to add the video support within our firefox test container so that i could able to see using the vnc to see what's really happening with my code execution so i'm going to do that over here as you can see so basically this is the video support like the selenium video ff mpeg and then you can see that I'm passing in all the details and it is gonna really connect to the existing Firefox container that we have got. That's it. So this is the video support. This is the Selenium hub and this is the actual node that is gonna perform the operation. So let's also go ahead and change the name to Firefox video container, maybe test container, whatever. So I'm not gonna worry about the naming for now. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And let's call this as await video of start async that's it so now that all our required containers are available for us so we have the separate network we also have selenium hub and this node let's do control ec to clean up the code a bit there we go and i'm gonna put a breakpoint over here and also i'm gonna put a breakpoint over here and let's try to run the code and see what's gonna happen so basically i am not going to run the docker compose so i'm gonna even remove this uh, already available container and you will notice that all these things are going to be created for us automatically let's see how it's going to happen so i'm going to go over here and let's do a debug so you can see that at the moment we would have just created a network behind the scene but if i am going to start the selenium hub you will notice that there is going to be a selenium hub spawned up in the container over here do you see that and similarly there is going to be a firefox test container hub which is going to spin up a firefox container for us over here and now it will be looking very beautiful if you just go to the overview you will have a video supported session coming up as well i will show you how it looks like so if i just go and if i just step over let's go to the local machine you can see there is a session and you can see that there is a video icon here so once i click that you will notice that there is a live view vnc password comes in just use the password secret so that is the password for you to view what's happening behind the scene and you can see that we have a firefox up and running within the particular container which is great so now we could see what is really happening within our code execution and now if I just do a step over and if you go to the VNC, you see that the exit automation page has been loaded. And then if I step over, it is going to click the login link and then it's going to enter the username, which is going to be admin, something like that. So let me see what's going to happen. You see that it has typed the name admin there. So it's all working fine for us. That is the video support that we really require for our dynamic Selenium grid. That's it. And once the execution is done, so all these containers are going to die and it's going to be completely wiped out because you know what test container does, right? So it is going to automatically remove all the container like a cleanup once the execution is done. So that is the power that we have got to create everything from the test container. 
but there is a catch now if you try executing this code once again depending upon your machine's performance this test might fail or might pass and the reason why it is even failing is because you notice that the selenium server which is the hub server was not something available and why is this happening while it was working fine while we did the debug operation if you notice closely you will see that this network has been created and also the hub is created and then the firefox node needs to register to this hub but if the hub is going to take a bit of time to spin up the firefox test container would have even started poking up if there is a hub if it doesn't find it it is going to throw you an error like this and if you get this error then probably your remote web driver is also going to fail because there is no firefox test container up and running and similarly there is no firefox video test container as well so basically everything is going to fail so how do we work around with this particular problem well in order to work around with this problem we need to do what is called as a wait operation and we don't have to use a thread dot sleep or something like that there is a very very much better mechanism that you can use for the wait which is nothing but waiting within the selenium hub to see if the selenium hub is up and running that you can do using with wait strategy once again that's a builder method that you have got and over here you can just say wait dot and here there are two types of containers that you want to wait for but we are using the unix container so i'm going to use the for unix container and then i'm going to say until the port is available which is nothing but the selenium's hub port to be up and running so you know that basically once the selenium hub starts they are going to be available in port number 4444 right so why not just wait for this particular port number to be up and running if it exists which means the port is going to be available for us as well so you need to keep poking for the container to see if this guy the port 4444 exists or not if it does which means the selenium hub is up and running right enough theory so now let's try executing the same code that was failing before so if i do that this time you will notice that it is going to do the exact same thing it is going to start all the different containers but this time it has waited for the selenium hub to be completely available and only then it is going to start running the test for you with the other containers so now you see that it is actually doing the job behind the scene and if we go back to our test you see that the test has got passed and if i run it again and if i go to my local session over here you will notice that there we go the test is even more faster to execute the test already or maybe not oh there we go the test is now running in the firefox container over here so yeah test execution is complete and each and every containers are now going to be taken down so this is how things are going to work but you will notice that these containers are now taken down much much slowly right it is not taken down immediately because the test container has to do it manually by taking down all the containers that it has spinned up and that's the reason why you need to do the cleanup by disposing this particular object so that is a much much better way of doing it at the moment test container is doing it for us but we have to ensure that those containers are gone completely if not if you run the same test pretty quickly like once the test execution is done if you try to run the same test once again the test will eventually fail because the containers are not fully taken down and that's the reason you need to do the cleanup as well well as i said we already have achieved our goal of creating our own dynamic selenium grid setup in the code using test container and it's completely via code rather using any docker compose file so that's it guys once again thanks for watching this video you guys have a great day